Live from Boston, Massachusetts, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering Red Hat Summit 2015. Brought to you by Red Hat. Now your host, Stu Miniman. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon.com and welcome to SiliconANGLE TV's live coverage of The Cube here from Red Hat Summit 2015, downtown Boston, the Heinz Convention Center. Second year at the show, the 11th year of Red Hat Summit. Uh, really excited to be here. And uh, yesterday, uh, the show kicked off with the general session. Uh, Craig Mozilla, who's the SVP of Application Platform Business Products. Uh, Craig, thank you for coming back on theCUBE. You're one of our last guests from uh, San Francisco last year and coming back on the program. Uh, I'm glad to be here again, Stu. Thank All you right. very much. And joining us from this segment, a special guest, partner of Red Hat, it's Robin Bianfei, who is the Chief Executive Innovation Officer from Samsung. Robin, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, so Craig, I, I loved your opening line in the general session yesterday was, it isn't the technology that matters, but what technology creates that matters. Uh, I, I like the other line you said, you know, we're not going to talk about IoT, we're going to show it to you. So, you know, we get way too wrapped up in the devices and, you know, little geeks. And I mean, heck, I, I like to geek out like anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a hardware guy in the software world, I feel. Um, but Robin, maybe you can talk. You've been, you know, in the mobility space, really on the software side for a while. Just give our audience a little bit about your background, what kind of led you up to Samsung and, and brought you here to Red Hat Summit. Sure, I was with AT&T for about 23 years, BlackBerry for about six years, and now with Samsung, and here to build our uh, services practice. So Samsung Business Services, which includes all the support, security, and value-added services. So I'm really excited about our strategic alliance. Yeah, so, so Craig, you know, one of the things I think some people struggle with is they think, you know, there's enterprise IT. And what we did in the data centers, and then we got, you know, all these edge devices out there, and the applications are kind of bridging it. Can you, can you help just kind of paint that picture for us as to how Red Hat looks at, the, you know, the portfolio of applications? Right, right. Well, I think it's changing a lot. I mean, I think it used to be very traditional and sort of monolithic. You'd, you know, you'd build a web app, you'd have a stack. And now a lot of it is because of the changes in the architectures and the, the, the ubiquity of mobile that now the, there's not, there's no longer a, such a thing as sort of a unified single stack. Now it has a lot of different paradigms. There's polyglot, different languages supporting the devices and now having to support the back end. So the, the, the processes, the methodologies, the tools and, and languages that you put together to do this is quite diverse. And so our role is to try to help make, the, make sense of that and make it usable by the developers in IT. All right, so, so you know, Robin, you know, we talk a lot about the digital economy. You right. know, how does Samsung think about things like the developers out there um, and the, the, the software side of the world? Well, I think the, the great thing is, is we really embrace the open source community. And we really, you know, with this strategic alliance, it actually helps us embrace the, the ecosystem that Red Hat brings to the table with their developer community. And so we really want to engage in that developer community. We see it as a way for innovation to be brought into the enterprise and the enterprise to actually consume of that innovation. So having that developer community and ecosystem is very important. Yeah, so you know, I, I think anybody at this show is you know, familiar with open source. You know, what specifically about Red Hat? You know, where do you guys see, where are the early wins? Where, where do you engage? You know, how do you move things forward? Well, we have a lot of customers that are really struggling with how to bring their mission critical business out into the mobility space. And leveraging the platform that Red Hat has will allow us to actually bring that, that back end out to the end user in that mobility domain. But in a way that actually creates something unique for that business. Uh, but still, the business has the onus of making sure it's secure, it's high available, and also very scalable. So having the life cycle management, all the support capabilities, it's just a really good mix of the two capabilities, us, us together. Craig, did you want to comment on that or? No, um, those are great, great comments. Uh, you know, we have been working in a mode where it's all about uh, the community development, the collaboration, the developers, and, and interaction with the developers in all forms and all areas, uh, upstream and with developers that are d adopting this. So I think. Even Samsung's philosophies of, of, of using Android and their participation in some of those endeavors, there's already a really good match and a really good synergy for us working together with developers. Definitely. All right, maybe you could talk a little bit about uh, the little demo you did yesterday during yeah. the general session, how that fit into the wearable discussion. Yeah. 
Well, uh, I mean, it, it, the, the device, there's going to be many different form factors for the device. There's going to be certainly wearables, there are tablets, there are phones, and, 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 and new and more interesting devices that will be coming out. So it's how you interact with those devices, it's how you... I was talking to a systems integrator last night, one of our partners, and they were developing a practice just around wearables. A practice for enterprise just around wearables. So now it's how do you bring that that experience back into the enterprise? How do you tie the wearable with an application and business value and tie it back into your enterprise systems? I think right. that becomes very important. Yeah, uh, it, it's interesting. We look at, you know, of course, there's what we've done traditionally and how we move that into some of the, the, the new devices. Then there's there's the new things we can do that we couldn't do before because right. the new form factor and everything like that. You know, Robin, you want to comment on kind of the wearables, what you're well, seeing, what's exciting? What's exciting is you wind up actually freeing the person's hands up to get work done. Yeah. So a lot of the applications are in your workforce management areas, but you're also having to secure that data to whatever endpoint. So having not only an endpoint strategy around IoT helps, but also having the scalability helps. Having the security out to that endpoint device helps. So a lot of our enterprise customers, when they're looking at those different applications and bringing that to a solution for their workforce management, Having what we do in mobility and what Red Hat does from a platform perspective helps us get that full extension in the end. So, so I know this week we're, we're going to talk about the changing definition of security because you know you used to think you know uh, I, I remember back you know when I first started in IT you know security was you know you lock the door right. and you put it in a box and you made sure you couldn't get in. Now I mean when, when the data is pushed all the way out to all the edge devices and everything there is no such thing as a moat anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and boy you know open source can can help in this matter. Maybe Craig you, you oh, want to comment? I think. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's an interesting, fal I think it's a fallacy that people think open source is not secure. I think actually we will make the argument at Red Hat that open source is even more secure. The speed at which we could find uh, fixes to a vulnerability because of the community and because of a lot of eyeballs looking at it and looking at the source code, we can fix things faster than anywhere else. I think this will apply in the mobility world as well. Um, you know, we were having conversations that it's about protecting the data, protecting the data from the flow of the backend systems, but all the way out to the device, and beginning to do things like application management at the device level, rather than just sort of managing the whole physical device. So there's right. a lot of evolution that's taking place in security uh, in this area. Yeah, so uh, w one of the discussions we've been having for, for the last couple of years is, you know, it used to be, you know, you kind of build a product and you kind of shove everything into it. Today it's much more discussion about platforms. If you look at, uh, we, we did an event with uh, MIT Sloan School and they right. talked about the second machine age and the digital economy. It's no one company can do it all and it should be pluggable architecture, you know, APIs are good. Boy, that, that ties into the right. whole open source discussion. C can you maybe talk about, you know, the, you know, building a stack, for, you know, end to end versus the, you know, the platform? Well, as, you know, as we were just discussing, I'm not sure if there is a, such a thing as a unified stack anymore, a single stack. There is a lot of diversity. There there will be this idea of the API economy where you're combining APIs and they're not necessarily your APIs, they're right. someone else's APIs. Um, a Twitter feed of being a very, very simple example but incorporating that into an application. It's the recombination of these APIs, whether they're your APIs that you've exposed or APIs coming from a partner or right. another vendor and bringing those together in new and interesting ways. That's the value. Yeah, so, so Robin, I mean, it, it's tough to build these ecosystems. I mean, you've got so many demands from, from different pieces. Um, you know, how do you make sure that you stay open yet deliver something that works for the customer and is reliable and, and all those things that you talk about? Well, the about? great thing is, is our customers are asking for this help. They really want to understand how they leverage mobility for their business. They want to do it in a secure manner. It is about having the right people within their teams having the right access to the right data. And you have to have partners to do this. Not any one of us can do all of it by ourselves. So as we've picked those strategic alliances, and the one with Red Hat is very important to us, it allows us to deliver those value-added services to those customers who are really looking for solutions that enable their workforce that they don't have to do all the heavy lifting around the security, availability, and scalability. That we bring that to the table inherent with that application and solution deployment. Yeah, uh, it, it's interesting. Uh, I, I, maybe you can comment. One of the challenges of open source is when it, if it's fully open, you know, boy, you know, the, the competition could be really rough. I hear like they saw a presentation that the biggest competitor to Android isn't necessarily Apple. It's like the fully open Android and what's happening in Asia and, and just taking it and that proliferation of you know so many options out there can be difficult for you know the, the marketplace to deal with. 
Well, with our security framework, we, you know, and our focus on the enterprise, we have to leverage our security framework. You're going to get innovation from anywhere. You just need to know how to bring it into that secure framework and uh, leverage it into a secure solution. Yeah, that, 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 that's a great point. Uh, I mean, Craig, you know, there, there, there's got to be, you know, there's some. If I can control the situation, mm -hmm. you know, there's certain advantages that you can have. You know, why, why, why does open source, you know, does it win everywhere, or does it win over time? Is, uh, you know, or, you know, wh 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 where is that, that that balance as to getting things out? Uh, I mean, we think open source applies to almost you know, every endeavor, whether you're looking at low-level infrastructure or application development environments and even applications themselves. Um, you know, there is an expectation that you know, having this innovation and this collaboration will advance things faster. What's, what's key then is how do you provide the sort of longevity of it? How do you provide the security of it? How do you back it up and make it enterprise grade? How do you support all the various um, you know, connection points in an open source endeavor. And that's the value that Red Hat provides, that's why we've been so good at it. The one interesting thing about Red Hat, and you may know this, is you know, we have never deviated from open sourcing everything. We hold nothing back, everything goes upstream to the community. And I think we're one of the only open source companies with a model that gives everything back. And many other companies have tried and they've tried to figure out ways in protecting some things. We believe it all needs to be in the community and we can find ways to make, give value to the company and l uh, make open source viable for a, a user. Yeah, no, it, it, it absolutely is a good point. I mean, Red Hat, you know, is it, kind of the, the, the beacon for, uh, you know, that, that movement in, in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, Robin, you can, maybe can you talk about, you know, what else is Samsung doing at this event here? Uh, any, any special things you'd like to highlight uh, from activities? Well, you know, Robin we've Summit? had several people out taking a look at some of the application development that we've already done on the Red Hat platform for mobility. And the cool thing is, is as we build, you can just build so many more variations. So it's not about the number of apps, it's actually how you combine those different applications to build the solution that that end customer is looking for, and actually customizing it a little bit for them because they don't, you know, every business doesn't want to look like every other business. They really want to have their unique fingerprint. And I think the flexibility that we have in building that out and giving those solution capabilities to the table, uh, having people come and take a look at those solutions, having the app developer ecosystem that's here, come and actually look at them and think of all the other ways that they could actually bring them you know, to, the, to use in the enterprise, I think is where we'll get the innovation and the next thing for, next thing for business. All right, Craig, I want to give you the same opportunity, highlight certain areas of, of what you're, you're working on. Um, you know, I mean, I love the discussion of Docker and Kubernetes right. that, that you had in your case, and I know we've got other people that'll be talking on this week, but right. yeah. So, you know, we are rounding out the rest of the portfolio. As you've seen, we've added business process management over the last year. We've, our rules management product has been very well. So we have all the services that are required now with our mobile platform and the partnership with Samsung. We're, we're coming full circle to provide a full, all the services that are required, we believe, in a more flexible cloud environment to help that developer develop for various types of scenarios, de develop de various types of capabilities, and various types of form factors like, like mobility. So that's what we've been focusing on over the last two, three years, and I'd say we're, you know, we, we're about 95% there of where we think the market needs to be. Yeah, so I, I guess the last question I have is, you know, how much you know, real integration work has to happen if you know, it's open interfaces and, and, and open source? Um, does it require a lot of you know, engineering back and forth testing that needs to happen? Or actually, the cool simplify? thing is, is yeah. we actually complement each other very well. We have all the APIs and capability on the client side, and the security framework, and they have everything into those back-end systems and platform and ecosystem with the developers. I think it's just a, a best of both worlds. Yeah, and we've taken a philosophy of making sure that we can support an environment, um, a, a native SDK environment, you know, working on Android and making it seamless. So when you're doing the development on the client side, when you're doing development on a Samsung device, that can easily integrate with the back-end capabilities. And we're providing, as Robin said, that that gateway or those API management facilities back to the back end, doing it securely. All right, well, yeah. Craig and Robin, really appreciate you taking the time. Congratulations on the partnership. Thank you. Thank you very really much. look forward to, obviously, you know, exciting area that lots of people are paying very attention exciting. to. I think you guys are giving away a couple of wearables, too, yeah, so I think it's I'm already... sure there'll be long lines <laughs> uh, at the booth. So, yes. Uh, I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon. We've got two days live coverage here from Red Hat Summit. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back after this. Thank you. Break. Great, thanks.